In this video, we discuss the topic atmospheric pressure. Now, what is the atmosphere? The atmosphere is the mixture of gases, which we basically call air, that surrounds the earth. So, if this shaded inner circle is your earth, then this earth is surrounded by a mixture of gases, which is the air. So, this envelope of air which surrounds the earth is what is called the atmosphere. So, the outer circle is representing the atmosphere in here. Now, since air is a form of matter and all forms of matter, they have mass. And anything that has mass has weight, which is a force. So, therefore, remember, air also exerts force. And when force is exerted on a certain area, that is what is called pressure. So, therefore, air also exerts pressure on the Earth's surface and on anything that is there on the Earth's surface, including us humans. Therefore, this envelope of air or the atmosphere is exerting pressure at all points on the Earth's surface. And this pressure is what is called your atmospheric pressure. We have seen that the atmosphere exerts pressure at all points on the Earth's surface. But the atmospheric pressure at different points on the Earth is different. Now, to explain you that, let us take the help of this picture here. Say, for example, this is the sea. Therefore, this is the sea level. And from the sea level, we go up towards the hills and the mountains. Now, if this line over here represents the uppermost layer of the atmosphere, say, for example, then you can see that at the sea level, the column of air at the sea level is maximum, has the greatest height. Whereas the column of air as you go up the hills, what happens is the column of air is decreasing. And at the mountain top here, the column of air is the least. As we can see that the height of the air column above the sea level is the maximum. Therefore, the weight of this height of air column will also be maximum. Now, since pressure at a certain point is due to the weight of the air column above it, therefore, the atmospheric pressure will be maximum at the sea level. Whereas, as we climb up the hills and the mountains, since the air column goes on decreasing, therefore, the weight of this air column also goes on decreasing and thereby the atmospheric pressure therefore decreases as we climb up the hills and the mountains. You can see at this peak, the height of the air column is the least. So therefore, the weight of this air column will also be minimum, which means the atmospheric pressure at this peak here will be the least. So do remember, atmospheric pressure is different at different points on the Earth and it is maximum at the sea level and atmospheric pressure decreases as we climb up the hills and the mountains. Now, let us talk about the value of the atmospheric pressure. Since the atmospheric pressure we've seen is maximum at the sea level, therefore the standard value of atmospheric pressure is taken to be its value at the sea level. And it has been measured that the value of atmospheric pressure at the sea level is almost equal to, this is the sign for almost equal to, almost equal to 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter squared. Now since Newton per meter squared is also called a Pascal, so this is equal to 10 to the power 5 Pascal. But if you want the exact value of atmospheric pressure at the sea level, it is equal to 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 Pascals. In here, we have neglected the numbers after the decimal point. This is a small number, 0.013 is a small number. So here we have neglected the numbers after the decimal point. So 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 pascals is the exact value of atmospheric pressure at the sea level. And this value of atmospheric pressure is also called 1 atmosphere or 1 atm. So therefore, remember, 1 atmosphere is the pressure exerted by the atmosphere at the sea level. Now what is seen is, this value of atmospheric pressure or the pressure exerted by the atmosphere at the sea level is equal to the pressure exerted by 76 centimeters of mercury. Therefore, atmospheric pressure is expressed in terms of this value, that is, in terms of the unit Pascal, or it is also expressed in terms of the unit 
atmosphere and atmospheric pressure is also expressed in terms of this unit that is the height of the mercury column that is atmospheric pressure at a given place could be expressed in terms of a certain centimeters of mercury column or in terms of certain millimeters of mercury column in darjeeling of course the atmospheric pressure will be lesser than this value it could be about 69 or 70 centimeters of mercury which means the pressure exerted by the atmosphere in Darjeeling will be equal to the pressure exerted by 69 or 70 centimeters of mercury. But do remember the pressure exerted by 76 centimeters of mercury, which of course is equal to this value, is a huge value of pressure. It's so huge that it can actually crush us humans to death. But again, the question arises, why don't we then get crushed by this huge value or this huge value of atmospheric pressure. To get to the answer to that question, let us first take the help of this bottle here. Now, remember, any body prevents itself from getting crushed as long as the pressure from the outside and the pressure from the inside balances each other. Like this bottle is not getting crushed at this instant, because the pressure acting from the outside, the atmospheric pressure that is acting at all points of the bottle from the outside is balanced by the pressure from the inside because we have air inside this bottle and this air from the inside is also exerting pressure in the outward direction at all points of the bottle. So therefore since the outward pressure is being balanced by the air pressure from the inside so therefore this bottle is not getting crushed when we have liquid filled inside this bottle the pressure from the outside is being balanced by the liquid pressure from the inside so remember for anything to not get crushed there has to be a balance between the external pressure and the internal pressure the moment there is a disbalance between the two pressures that is, say for example, the external pressure increases, what happens is the body will get crushed, remember that. Therefore, coming back to our actual question, we do not feel or we do not get crushed by the immense value of the atmospheric pressure, basically because of two reasons. One is that there is air inside the organs of our body like lungs, nose, ears and stomach. So therefore, the air inside these organs it exerts a pressure in the outward direction which is the same as the atmospheric pressure and thereby this air pressure being exerted from inside our body is what balances the atmospheric pressure from the outside. So therefore we do not feel the atmospheric pressure. The other reason is that the blood running in the veins of our body also exerts pressure. And this blood pressure acting from inside our body is actually seen to be slightly more than the atmospheric pressure acting from the outside. So this blood pressure makes the effect of the atmospheric pressure ineffective. Therefore, it is because of this reason also that we do not feel the atmospheric pressure. Remember, therefore, it basically is because of these two reasons that we do not feel the atmospheric pressure or we do not rather get crushed by the atmospheric pressure.